Hello, hello, hello YouTube and welcome to this video where I'm going to be doing a play review on the man, the myth, the legend, Lucas Lever, who won, fun fact, won Lazio's player of the month last season because Liverpool fans found it and just thought, you know what, Lucas Lever's got to win this and Immobile didn't win it, even though he was like the fourth most prolific striker in Europe, but Lucas Lever deserves to win, let's be honest, all Liverpool fans know he's just the best player ever to play the game we call football. But anyway, yeah, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and uh, in the comment section down below, recommend me a player to review. Obviously, I'm not, not going to be able to recommend, if you recommend like Messi or someone, not going to be able to afford them. So keep it in the price range. I'm mainly doing budget players just so everyone has a chance to, um, everyone has a chance to play with the player I'm reviewing. I did not know his middle name was Pizzini. I don't want to do this anymore. He's five foot ten. He's under six foot. I definitely don't want to do this anymore. That's the end of the video. If you do, no, I'm joking. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, but before I do start, <laughs> this Lucas card is not the first one I had. I bought. I think it was with the first. I know, the first info I bought was that right back. But it's the first. I think yeah, most expensive player I bought. It. Oh no, apart from the goalie in this team. Apart from that, he's the most expensive player I bought this FIFA, and he's worth it. I'll be honest; he's so good. He is the new Bakayoko. He's a bit, a bit expensive than Bakayoko was last year, but he's he's honestly amazing. I think I've got, yeah, I've got engine on him. Obviously, his pace, pace boost, his dribbling, which might up his, yeah, it ups his agility and balance a lot, and passing it ups a lot. Right, let's get in to like each stat and I'm gonna do them one by one and just tell you what I think. Uh, his height, I honestly did not know he was five foot ten. I thought he was at least six foot. Uh, three star, three star, not the best. You might want four star on you, but because I'm playing him as two DMs, I don't really need Hanana's got five star weak foot next to him, four star skills. So he doesn't really need five star weak foot and it's Lucas Lever, isn't it? So he, we all know he should have five star, five star. Um his work rate's medium high, obviously perfect for the DM. He he, do, he does get up the pitch, but that's because I tell him to because he's Lucas Lever and he scores what scores goal after goal. Look at that! Look at that record: sixteen games played, three goals, seven assists. I think my other card, because I was playing squad battles, I had like five games played, twelve goals or something like that. I was playing him on a left CDM in a four-three-three variation. Can't remember what it is. I think it's the third one with the two DMs. Anyway, let's get into stats one by one. His pace, honestly, he does feel a lot faster than 69. I know I've got engine on him, but he, he still feels faster than 69. Feels like he's got like 80 pace or something like that. I know pace isn't relevant in this feat. Well, it is, but it's not as relevant as past FIFAs, which is. It's it's what a lot of people want. It's not what I want, but it's what a lot of people want. It's just so people didn't buy cheap, pacey players. But if you use a player with 50 pace and use a player with 80, obviously the player with 80 pace should run past them. You should play with 50 pace. Shouldn't be able to keep up. Like Giroud shouldn't be able to keep up with Aubameyang, but in this game he probably does. So pace doesn't really matter, but he does feel a lot faster than 69. But it's 69 pace in this. So it's look, he's just a meme god, isn't he? <laughs> like me but if you move on to his shooting his shooting doesn't really look that good except for the standard ones 82 shot power 71 long shots but with this card I think it's got 3 and they've all been like 40 yard long shots I know long shots are a bit overpowered this FIFA but his shooting is honestly so I don't know why he's got 71 shooting when he's only got one stat above 71 but we, we all know EA are the best company in the world they've probably got some system to figure that out but inside the box he, I don't really play him inside the box so I can't really tell you how he finishes there and if you move on to his passing I don't really want to discuss passing because it gets it's a bit manual isn't it passing so you don't really know if the stats are really having an effect but just look at those stats crossing he's a CDM he's not going to cross free kick actually put someone else on it and if you put Lucas on he's probably going to score anyway because he's Lucas so they don't really matter and um, care is probably the only stat in passing that matters but only on like strikers wingers cams because 
you're doing finesse shots on them. So that, as I say, it's not really relevant, is it? Is dribbling. Look at those dribbling stats. They're insane, aren't they? Like I'm, I'm not. Too, I'm not doing this video as a joke. By the way, I know I've done jokes. He is genuinely a really good player on this FIFA. Is dribbling. Oh, look at that eighty one dribbling, but only one stat below eighty one. Yeah, he just confuse. I, I don't like EA. I genuinely just don't like EA. Um. Yeah. Anyway, uh, reactions. Obviously, eighty five reactions with eighty nine interceptions. 84 mark and 84 stand tackle is intercept. He just gets every. He locks onto everything. He's like Kante from last year. I'd use. I don't think he used Kante's upgrade the version or any of his special cards. But this Lucas card is better than Kante last year. I haven't used Kante this FIFA, so I can't compare. But I'm. A, I imagine Lucas is just a lot better because he's Lucas. He's, he's just Lucas, isn't he? And if you look at his defender, and mentioned it before. I should probably have like a sentinel on him or maybe if even a finisher just to up his physical stats more and get that shooting boost up but it, it doesn't either he's just with the engine cards he's honestly I'd probably rate him a 9 I, I can't rate him any higher than 9 just because he lacks something if you know what I mean he lacks four star skills or five star skills or four star five star weak force it's just a three star three star that's really letting them down the 71 strength is a lie it genuinely is a lie he's got at least 90 he's pushing players off the ball he's running through just barging players out the way 82 stamina which is amazing 82 jump and 82 aggression which is he's, i feel like he should have more than 82 aggression because if you watch him play for Liverpool, he's chopping players in half i don't know what he's like at Lazio, but He's getting in forms now, so he must have calmed down. But anyway, if yeah, to sum it up, I'd say I'd rate him a nine. I can't rate him any higher than that. Eight point five or nine out of ten. For price wise, I'd I'd say ten out of ten because he is just like Kante last year, and we all know how overpowered Kante and like Bakayoko were last year. And for the price you're paying for him, I paid eighteen. He's probably round there or round about twenty k now. You might as well just buy him, test him out. If he's not for you, then he's not for you. But he is honestly the best CDM in this game that I've used so far. And if you, yeah, that's the player review done. So if you do like the video, please leave a like, comment down below who you want me to review next or what you thought of this video. If you've tried Lucas, tell me what you think of him, or am I just have I just got a really lucky card? And subscribe for more player reviews, FIFA content, and see ya. Goodbye.